Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an application for your Mac as well as your iPhone, iPad, and Windows PC called iMindQ. iMindQ offers a wide palette of benefits for professionals, individuals, and for educations. People use iMindQ to inspire creativity, stimulate thinking, brainstorm, and provoke innovation. You see here from the main menu we have our current mind map. And what I can do is tap and click on any one of these and it's going to expand out and show me the different branches of my map. And I can go ahead and do that for all of these and you see the maps and the branches that it's presenting me. So there's a lot of customizable options here for iMindQ. All I'm using is my uh, mouse to go ahead and zoom around the panel. Down here in the bottom right hand corner I can go ahead and open up a navigation pane and use this to drag around as well. I can also center my map by tapping the map and it's going to bring my map into full screen and then I can go ahead and center it and then let's go ahead and collapse some of these and get it back into full view. So there's a ton of customizing again as I said if we highlight over any one of these if I double click on it you see I can go ahead and edit these different clip arts that are in here. If I tap on it we can right click on it we can copy paste it paste in a special insert topics, subtopics, parent topics, callouts, relationships, notes, hyperlinks. We can remove it, send it to the front, bring it to the back. We can change the shape. So if I wanted this to be more of a hexagon instead of a circle, you see I go ahead and do that. I can choose topic layouts, uh, tile types. So there are many customizable options here for mapping your um, mind map. If I come up here in the top left hand corner of my menu bar, if I tap file, we can make a new mind map, an organic mind map, a whiteboard, a WBS chart, or organic chart, and we can also do from a template or style. So any mind map that we do, we can create different templates and styles and go ahead and organize those and start from those. So let's make a new mind map and I'll show you how to go ahead and create a new one. We have our central topic, so if I go ahead and double click on this, I can erase the text here. And let's go ahead and just call it whatever we want to. Now I've got that, I'll highlight over the left hand corner and I've got some tools here. Go ahead and hit the plus, drag the button to create a new item. So here's a different branch. We can call this the main topic. Maybe we'll make another branch for this one. We have the subtopics of these branches. We'll just keep maybe making a few different subtopics. And that seems to be good for now. We can change our button here to relate different options. So let's relate this to here. And so you see we're, we're going and my, mapping out everything here and we can go ahead and format our topics. So here we can change all of our shapes, our fill colors. Uh, we can even use custom images for our shapes. We can change underlying colors, text alignments, text colors, uh, different icon alignments. So I'm going to go ahead and change this one. Let's make it an underline. We'll tap OK. So now you see that this name, main topic here no longer has a box around it. It's just a main general underline. Over here in the top portion of the screen we have our home. We have a bunch of different editing options. We can change text colors. So if I tap on any one of these, go ahead and tap on it. You see it's got format panel up here. Change the width, the color, the jump to start, the line styles, begin styles, end styles. We can insert floating topics, call outs, relationships. So I tap a call out and here it's just going to be a call out for this. Go ahead and let's make this maybe a little bit bigger. It's like a call out, so let's just name this something. So here we go, we've renamed it. Let's go ahead and shrink it down a little bit. Format over here, we can format again all of our fonts, colors. We can even change our background. So if I didn't want my background to be white, maybe I want it to be orange. And then I can even select an image and add images in here for uh, my background. I have transparency. Let's go ahead and tap OK. Now my background is orange. If I wanted to present this, I can go ahead and take a screenshot generate snapshots or I can show this and present it as an image. If we view, we can view it at a not, not chart, top left or bottom. We have outlines, full screens, view it in the web browser, center maps. If I come here to exchange, you see I can export my mind map as a PDF, an image, a rich text file, HTML or CSV files. I can collaborate and export these as Excel or different pro, um, projects such as Microsoft Project or I can import and export from those. And then I can even present it over a web and view it over a web. So there are multiple options here when using this and you can go ahead and start mapping out your mind, making topics, floating topics around, bringing it back, connecting it to different topics, 
adding out as many branches to your topic as you want to just click and drag and it's going to go ahead and automatically position all of these topics around your idea and then again just come in here and click on these and start adding out your little branches and your subtopics to each one of your topics and you can even come over here into map parts and if you wanted to create a uh, start with a different template say I'd like to have this come out here I'll go ahead and do that Let's connect it to there. And now you see that I've already got it formatted in a different style. So these are some of the templates that you can work with and just connect them out here into your main topic and go ahead and start mapping everything out in different styles and different ways that you would like to. You can even view task infos. You can start tasks for specific maps out here. So if I wanted to, I can start on a date and you see I've got a time bound task out here now. I have task info, I have styles, so I can change all my default styles. So you see I'm changing the style to different templates and formats in here to make this look a little bit different. I have my library of icons, and numbers, and buttons. I have notes that I can add out here into my presentation. So when I come back, I can view any notes. And then I can even view this browser so I can see what it would look like in a browser and start looking for different images on the web that I'd like to actually import into here as well. So I can go ahead and enter in here. Go ahead and clip this from the web. And now I'll come bring it out here and let's just, we can hyperlink it and add any of these texts out here as well. So once again, this application is called iMindQ. If you like it, pick it up in the Mac App Store or the iOS App Store today.